Now we're going to practice dividing by 2, 5 and 10. So before I go through each question, you might like to pause the video and see if you can work it out yourself. So we start with 80 divided by 10. Well, we don't really need a number line to solve 80 divided by 10, because divided by 10 is another way of saying how many 10s are in, and we know that we make the number 80 with 8 10s. But if we want to use a number line, we can count on 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So we've made 8 jumps of 10, we have 8 10s, so 80 divided by 10 is 8. Now 6 divided by 2. So again, to divide, we can count in steps of 2 until we get to 6. So 2, 4, 6. So we've made 3 jumps. We have 3 groups of 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now 16 divided by 2. Again, let's count in steps of 2 until we get to 16. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So here we've made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 jumps. So we have 8 groups of 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now we have 35 divided by 5. So again, we can count up in steps of 5 until we get to 35, because we can always count on in steps of the divisor until we get to our dividend. And then we can count how many jumps we've made. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we've made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 jumps. We've got 7 groups of 5. So 35 divided by 5 is 7. Now we have 60 divided by 10. And again, we can get our answer very quickly without even needing to use the number line. Because we know that there are 10 sixes, or there are six tens in 60. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we've got six tens. So, ten, so 60 divided by 10 is 6. Now we have 10 divided by 2. So again, let's count in steps of 2 until we get to 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So now we've got 5 groups of 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now 5 divided by 5. Well, this is another question where we don't really need that number line because any number divided by itself is 1. So if I count in steps of 5 until I get to 5, I'm only going to make one jump. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. Now 40 divided by 5. So let's count up in steps of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So I've made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 jumps. I've got 8 groups of 5. So 40 divided by 5 is 8. 
now 100 divided by 10. Again, we don't really need this number line because this question is asking us how many tens are there in a hundred? And we know that we can make a hundred with ten tens. But if we count up on our number line, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, so we have 10 lines of 10, so 100 divided by 10 is 10.